Yo, what's up guys? Today I've got a tips and tricks video for you. Um uh, like things about um cone jumps, cone placements and um ways you should um edit and um ways you shouldn't. So I really really hope you enjoy this. Um I will be uh putting out a part 2 to this um very soon as well. So uh, also depends how well this does so if um, you by any chance uh, find this um, helpful I would appreciate a like and also uh, subscribe if you are new and you enjoy the content cones are the most simple things to use so if you're ramping out like this your opponent thinks that you're coming out here and then you just literally ramp out like this or, or if you come in here place a cone there, a cone there and you just flip this ramp up like this and you go out here and then you can come from like a sneaky shot or whatever I just recently learned this and it is really 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 helpful um, another way you can use cones um, is if you're going for like a little retake this use a cone and you place a cone out there and then he thinks that you're gonna go out there and then you come out here so that's just a, a small little tip for for using cones use cones to um make your opponent think that you're gonna come out to one spot but you're actually coming out somewhere else so yeah okay on to the next tip boys Oh yeah, so for the, this next one, I actually um, got this from Razor, Razor X. Um, he, he does this thing where if you do this, you cone, you'll go for the jump um, like this, and he'll catch himself, but then he'll build this wall, and he will place a cone like that. He'll place a cone like that, jump to the side, box, box his opponent, and then get the elo. Like, smooth, how he normally does it. So... That is key. This kind of uh, cone placement, I know we did talk about briefly on cone placement, but cone placement is critical. You need to be able to place cones in, in, in weird spots. Okay, so for the next tip, um, one thing is that I want uh, to talk to you guys about is this retake, okay? Yes, it, it does seem like quite a lot when you editing through like this. And yes, it is it is quite a lot, okay? Like, you have to get the timing right. Um, right there, I got the timing a little bit wrong. So, you need to practice the timing a little bit. Because sometimes, it is quite easy to mess up. But once you get the rhythm, it's actually not terrible to do. Oops. See, you just get that. <laughs> don't do that. But like, you um, once once you do like a couple of times, um, you get to the flow of that. That retake helps so much with cover. Once you get it down, it's really easy to just repeat it. Be careful not to do it like four or like five times, because then it, someone's just gonna place a, a floor here and you're gonna get blocked and they're gonna protect it easily. So. Make sure to like mix it up. Try and try and edit out the side maybe, and then you can get like a ramp over them and whatnot. But yeah, that is the next step. Okay, we're gonna move on to the next one now. Okay, so for this tip, I don't see anyone practicing this. Like this, it's the most simple thing to do. And it, it provides with such good movements, and you can do it wherever you want. You can do it on the left, you can do it like, you can literally do it like this. Like, you can go crazy with this. And it, it'll, it literally confuses your opponent so much, and it's really easy to get high ground. I forget to use it sometimes, and it's bad. Like, look how easy this is. Like, you can do this on 200 ping easy. No matter what ping you're on, you can use this so easily, like, and you can do, like, funny things. So, yeah, I, I'd really recommend you, you use that tip. Okay, 